When you need to add or extend an electrical circuit, you will need to run new electrical wires. This work can take a few hours, depending on how long your electrical circuit is and what the distance is. When you run the wires in finished walls, the distance varies from a few feet to several dozen feet. Once you have found the source of the electricity, you will need to determine the length of your cable. If you're not sure how long the wire needs to be, you can try using a meter. There are various types of conduits you can use for running electrical wires. You can choose metal or non-metallic tubing for underground wires. You can also opt for a plastic encased wire trough to run multiple circuits. In certain cases, you may need to use metal elbows to connect a cable to an underground service entrance cable. When you're installing new light fixtures, it is necessary to run an electrical box at every point where the wire will be exposed. In a building, you can use two kinds of wire. The solid type is easier to work with, while the stranded kind is more difficult to work with. In a residential project, you can use solid wire or stranded wire. The former is easier to work with and can fit in tighter areas. However, it's important to follow all the codes and make sure that you don't break any rules. A wire is a woven material that conducts electricity. The size and temperature of a conductor will determine its capacity to carry current. A larger wire diameter will increase the resistance to current carrying. Conversely, a smaller diameter will decrease the resistance. Generally, a ring or a coil of wire is less than one inch. In a house, you should avoid coiled wires and avoid the use of NM cable. When running electrical wires, it is important to use the correct color and type of cable. A common type of cable is sheathed or non-metallic cable. This type of cable is the best choice for home use. Its diameter should be sufficient to carry current from the circuit and the outlet. It is not important to use bare wire. Ensure that you have enough insulation and that your wiring is not too brittle. Before you run electrical wires, you must determine the color of the cables. If you have multiple conductors, the cable will not dissipate heat. Therefore, the color of the cables should be identical. UF stands for underground feeder cables and gray is in UL. The white wire is called neutral and it completes the circuit by carrying the current back to the panel. Once you have a cable installed, you can now start installing it. In addition to red, black, and white wires, you can also use green and white wires. The latter type is used in homes that do not have electrical outlets. The red wire is the neutral, while the other two are for the power. In case of a short, you must cut the NM ones. You'll need to label them in order to avoid a fire. For a more secure and safe installation, make sure the connections are tight and secure. When you're installing a new electrical fixture, you need to understand the color coding of the wires. The colors of the wires can be confusing and you should understand them before you begin. In general, white and black wires are neutral. The black and white wires are hot. In case of an electrical emergency, you should use the white wire instead of the hot one. If you're not sure about color coding, the color of the cables should match the wire. If you're installing a new electrical circuit, you should use a 15 amp wire. You can also use non-metallic cable. This type is often called a Romex cable and is made of three individual conductors encased in a flexible plastic jacket. A 15 amp circuit should have a wire that is rated for 20 amps. For a 50 amp circuit, you should use a wire with a higher amp rating. 